do a quick wear ready with me. So um, I'm just going to be using some old products. We've got a couple of new things that I want to try. Maybe like one or two products that are new that I want to try. I'm going to go and use my um, Beauty Bay um, with Mema Mitchell palette. Me, myself and, me, myself and Mema Mitchell. Um, it is an old palette and it's not available anymore because it's limited edition. So I apologise. But this is for the people that have got it and want to know what they can do with it. Or people that, you know, you can still get it on Depop and eBay. But they are very expensive now. So we'll just see how we get on. So I'm going to go in with starting off with mixer which is this shade here i'm just going to go straight into it with like a fluffy brush this is a x spectrum not really what i want actually so let's go back to this one this is a spectrum b06 so i'm getting out today i'm going out for a meal with my friends so i'm so so excited so yes i'm so so excited i haven't seen my friends since like october when we last went out for a meal before the third lockdown so I'm very very excited so I'm just gonna put this color like as a transition shade I am wearing I have got like my top underneath but um I always get dirty doing my makeup so I thought I'd be clever put a t-shirt over the top and then I'll show you my outfit when I'm done I'm also wearing a pair of like white jeggings type thing which I didn't think would fit me and they do I'm so excited I forgot I had them to be fair and I saw them and I was like, oh I'm gonna put these on it's gonna be really depressing and I'm not going to be able to put them on and like actually wear them but I thought I'll try them on if they don't fit they don't fit I do want to go on a little diet because I have put on a bit of weight over this last few months so but I just I love food I just really need to be a bit I need to get a bit more willpower and a bit more like you know I'm just kind of popping another transition shade I'm just going to blow it out because I'm wearing a yellow top I kind of want to match the eyes a little bit I'm not going to do anything too heavy um it's gonna be something quite you know chilled and stuff so i'm then gonna go in with man made man made which is this shade here to so this brown here uh and i'm gonna go in with a smaller brush this time i'm gonna use um maybe the a12 yeah a12 we've had so much work to our garden done this week it's actually mental so I'm just going to pop that in like the outer V. But yeah, I kind of feel like I haven't done a get ready with me in ages. I wasn't planning on filming, to be honest. I'm getting picked up in an hour. So I need to be ready and I still need to do my hair and stuff. So that's why I'm kind of, kind of just sticking it on. I obviously will go back and blend it all back together. But I haven't had time to film. I've got a really a few exciting videos coming up, so yeah so very very exciting i'm gonna go back with that sh shade with the mixer shade and just kind of mix that in together basically and blend that out make it a bit more seamless i'm so looking forward to seeing the girls it's just been far far too long there's eight of us going we've got two tables of four because obviously we're not allowed to meet more than scripts of six but we've got like two tables next to each other, which is really, really nice. So I'm very excited. Oh, sorry. I'm just gonna go back in with a bit of mixer in that inner corner here. because I think this one's got a bit more. Okay. And then with kind of like an angled fluffy brush. This is an Air Spectrum B04. I love these brushes. These are probably my favorite at the moment. It's all I reach for. So I will link them down below. Um, I've also had, this is called Muse, so this one's going to go, this is a bit of a more burgundy-ish brown, like a reddish brown, but it will work. And take it in like the outer transition bit, again back with that brush, I'm not going to add any product at this stage, just use whatever's on, left on there, and just kind of blend that upwards, like so. I'm going to bring you a bit closer, actually, I actually didn't realise you were so far away, there we go. So I primed with the Mitchell Acid Rain, as usual. And then what I'm going to do to kind of tone it down a little a tiny bit, I'm going to go in with Monday, which is that one there. Same shade, I'm going to kind of bring the brown tones back into it. Um, and just kind of go on there just to deepen it up a little bit, but I don't quite want black. So, And again, back in with this one and just blend that out. Yeah, that's more the effect I was after. The other one's quite a reddish brown, I've forgotten. 
um, what this was. And I'm really sorry about the back-to-back -back foundation videos. To be fair, they've done quite well considering I did back-to-back -back ones. But I'm um, going to go back into a little bit of mixer while I just blend that out. Um, but yeah, I just kind of had the foundations to use. So I kind of wanted to do the videos and stuff. So I'm going to go into Manchester, which is that shade there. Just a little tiny bit, literally. And then just go above there just to kind of brighten up that yellow I love matching like what I'm wearing to my eyes so just blend all of that out and then we'll probably do like a cut crease to be fair like half a cut crease so I'm gonna do that now I'm just gonna wipe off a little bit with a cotton bud um, it's micellar water I'm just gonna wipe the inside bit these cotton buds are crap. They are from Home Bargain today, to be fair, so I'm not sure what I was expecting. And then I go in with this end. The only thing that's good about it is it's got a flat end, so I can then go back with a flat end while it's dry and kind of take the makeup off like this. And I'm going to use that beautiful gold shade just because it's gorgeous. Okay, so I'm going to go back in with a bit of canvas. Actually, I've got like a yellow. I'm just going to go in with this yellow base from P. Louise Basic. Um, it's just the yellow shade. It's called Yummy Yellow. And I'm going to use that to cut my crease just because I think use something a bit different. I think, I think I've only used it once, so it's definitely a good one to use. And all my cut cute brushes, brushes a day. <laughs> so I'm just going to pop a little bit. I don't want to use my hand, I'm just going to pop a little bit on the back of this plastic. And then with a brush I've already used, I'm just going to go and cut my crease. The concentration that bit takes. And then with this little fluffy brush I'm just going to kind of blend that. So take the excess off and kind of blend that in okay that's that done and then I'm going to go in with this shade here let's have a look yeah I'm going to go in with this shade here which is called melted that one there and I'm going to pop that on my inner corner with like a stumpy like shadow brush um, it probably works better with your finger to be fair oh wow okay it's beautiful I mean, look, it's just stunning. And then to blend those two in together, I'm going to go into this shade called Mask, which is like a bronzy brown shade, just to kind of blend that in with the yellow and the brown, just here on the edges. And then I'm going to go back in with, I'm going to go in with a bit of Monday. Monday and just kind of pop that in there just a little tiny bit on both sides to kind of deepen that up again and then go back onto mixer and just kind of add that on the edge just to kind of bring that yellow back I don't want to lose that yellow shade okay with like a smaller detailer brush I'm um, just going to go with like a pencil brush and to mix that and just kind of add a little bit around the cut. I think I've cut it too into the inner corner here. I'm a bit annoyed. Yeah, I'm very annoyed actually because it's not straight. I might cover it with a bit of glitter or something because it's um, not quite what I wanted it to be. I'm going to go with like a little angled brush and go back into Man Made and kind of go around. Yeah. Um, the cut crease just to kind of bring some shape back into it and then mix a little bit with mixer okay yeah it looks better 
on both sides. It just kind of makes the um, cut crease pop a little bit more, so is what I normally do if I tend to mess up. I'll just kind of get a little angle brush and just kind of go around with the shadows that I used in my crease before, like so. And it kind of makes it a bit more intense and a bit poppy. So that's done. So let's go on to the base now. So I've got a little bit of fallout. I'm going to use the NARS um, foundation. I'm just going to go and wet my sponge quickly and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've just put some primer on. I thought I was recording, but apparently I wasn't. So Elf Putty Primer. Um, excuse this little beast that I've got here. I'm just going to put a little bit of this corrector on. I'm going to use a bit of the green just to cover the redness on my little beast of a spot. I'm just going to tap it like so. I don't want to use a lot. It's just to really take the redness off. Okie dokie. And then it's a bit scabby as well, just going to look disgusting, but it is what it is. I'm going to go with my knife and it's probably a little bit light for me now, which is annoying because I've only just got it, but we'll darken it up with a bit of bronzer and stuff. I kind of want to have my face all done in the next 10 minutes so that I can um, then do my hair. Okay, I don't want to put any more layers on because it's going to look really stupid. For concealer, I'm going to go with my Tarte Tape Shape. I've kind of been trying to use less concealer, but I think, to be honest, it kind of brings out my lines a bit more. So I'm just going to go the old-fashioned way and do it like this. I do have the blush, the bronzer from... Um, blush from Mama Mitchell made made by Mitchell sorry <laughs> so I'm going to use that to bronze and it's a cream bronze I need to put it on now and then I'll set my face so it's a good contour shade I think actually for me yeah it is I was really excited when he released this because I do like his blush blush formula or blush formula, however you want to say it. I do really like that. So I'm just going to go with this sort of brush. Um, actually, I'm going to use this little tiny. This is the BO5. I'm just going to start down here and blend out my jawline. put a little bit more on this size I think it's got a little bit more well I have the shade caramel chisel I can't remember how many shades there were but I'll link everything down below we go I really really like that it's really nice very easy to blend looks really really natural and flawless Okay, I'm going to set my face. As per usual, for my under eyes, I'm going to use the um, Laura Mercier. I'm going to go in with the, bright, with the sponge and just make sure there's no lines. And then go in with a fluffy brush with a bit of product and kind of set that in place, like so. And then for the rest of my face, I'm going to use my good old Charlotte Tilbury. Um, So for bronzer, I'm going to use a Charlotte Tilbury again. Um, let's keep it with a the theme. I'm just going to use a big fluffy brush. And just bronze. Okie dokie. Uh, for blush, I'm going to use again Charlotte Tilbury. Charlotte Tilbury day. Actually, no I'm not. I'm going to use my Milani. Milani and Luminoso because it's a really lovely shade. I'm going to go in with an angle brush and just take a little bit. On my cheeks, I could really do with like a yellow toned one, I think that would have been really nice. Okay, the highlight I do have a new highlighter which is from Josh Cosmetics. This is in the old packaging, Josh Cosmetics from, an in from Instagram. Um, this is a press highlighter ink creme, so I think it might be a bit light for me to be fair, it's not as golden as I'd like. 
but we'll go with it and then if I need to I'll top it up with something else. So I'm going to go in with my highlighting brush from Essence and oh wow okay it's beautiful there but yeah it's not as gold as I would have liked. Just because my eyes are super gold. Okay. I'm just going to go back with my powder brush. Just to tone that down a little bit. That's beautiful. I'm going to try that again when I have when I don't need such a gold. It's because I need the gold one. I might use the Fenty um, Fairy Bomb highlighter. And I'm going to go and do that now because this is a very goldy one. Again, with this one, you do not need like a lot. Mm. Okay, it's just a little bit more goldy toned. I'm gonna go in with a flat brush. I like using like a fan brush normally, but I don't have any, I don't think, that are clean. Um, I'm just gonna use this angle brush here. Take a little bit from what's on the outside and just kind of highlight the brow bone. Okay, okay, what's the time? 28 I should be finished by now okay I'm just gonna go back in with a fluffy brush so much to make up now on here oh let me cover my white trousers I'm just gonna go back in with a mixer and go underneath my eye all the way under and then with a smaller uh, brush this is a A12, I think. Yeah, A12. I'm going to go back into Monday and just pop that in the outer corner of my under eye. And then I'm going to go into the gold, which is melted, and pop that underneath and meet that. And then go into that master shade, which is the bronzy shade we use in the middle to meet both of them. And use that in the middle. Okay. Now let's apply some mascara. Do this liner. I don't think I'm going to bother with falsies to be honest. I'm going to put a bit of my MAC black liner from the Aladdin collection in my waterline. Using the Huda Beauty Flirt for lip liner. I'm going to go in with Cella V by Doll Beauty. Okay, so that's kind of, kind of her looks. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of setting spray on. I'm going to go for the Morphe matte one. Only because it was here. Brush my hair. I was going to curl it, but I don't think I've got enough time, so I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to brush it. So I've had keratin treatment done to my hair, and I washed it yesterday for the first time since having it done, and I literally just blow dried it, and it came like this. So I'm very happy with it. Or I might just put a little bit, like, this bit here, like that. I'm just going to clip it. Okay, so I'm all done. I'm going to bring it back a bit. I'm just going to put my earrings in. I'm going to wear the ones from my You're Not Ready collection. I didn't link them in my last video, I forgot, but I will link it in this video. And I'll go back and edit the other one as well. But this is... Oh. Okay, so I'll give you a little um, outfit of a day look, which I don't, I've never done before, really. So I've just got... Yeah, so you can't really see anyone. Anyway. Let me just back you up. Oh, this is the furthest it will go so just that and some white trousers so yeah that's the outfit of the day so this is my finished look now so i really hope you enjoyed this video it's a quick get ready with me for my night out with my friends so nothing fancy or anything but yes this is the final look i really hope you enjoyed it if you did please give a huge big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i shall see you in my next one thank you bye bye Mwah.